What's up everybody? Welcome to part two of my Tractor DJ for the iPad tutorial series. This is Endo. Part one, we talked about how to browse, load, and mix our tracks. And now in part two, we're gonna get into some more advanced features such as using EQs, filters, and touch on some effects. Here we go. All right, so in my last video, I showed you how to get two tracks mixing together and blend between them using the crossfader. Now I'm going to explain the EQ section of Tractor DJ. To open the EQ section, I can click on the EQ button. Now you can see if I click on the Equalizer tab that I have a low, mid, and high control, and I also have a volume fader. So if I move the low control, I can actually cut the base of the track. Now if I click on the middle, it'll bring the base back to normal. The mid will let me control the volume of things like vocals and synthesizers. The highs will let me control the volume of things like hi-hats and cymbals. And then I have a separate volume control for the track. Now with that said, let's do a mix with the EQs. Now of course I'm going to start with my crossfader at the top. I'm going to wait for the right point to start my second track. I'm going to fade it in. Now while I'm bringing in this track, I'm going to cut the lows. The reason I'm doing that is I don't want the bass lines to collide with each other. So that gives me a more gradual blend between the songs. Now when I'm ready, I'm going to click on the middle of the low fader here, and I'm going to swap the bass lines. Okay, so now another tool that I have in my EQ section is the filter section. Now if I click on the filter tab, you see I have an XY axis here, and this will let me control the, uh, the resonance and the cutoff frequency of the filter, which will let me cut the bass and the highs of the track. So if I put my finger on the XY axis, you can see as I move it to the left, it's cutting all the high frequencies out of this track. Now if I move my finger to the right, it's going to cut the low frequencies. Now another thing that I can do is I can actually click this lock button to lock the filter on. So then it'll actually keep the filter on and I can use my finger to cut the lows and highs at the same time. All right, now one effect I'm going to touch on real quickly is a great effect for not only enhancing buildups, but is also a great effect for doing transitions. And this is the delay effect. Now, to get to the delay effect, I'm going to turn on the effects button, and then I can actually choose between my three effects. Right now I have a beat masher, reverb, and a delay. I'm going to choose the delay tab. If you don't see a delay, you can actually choose a delay by pulling down this drop down menu and choosing delay. So let's hear how that sounds. OK, 
Okay, so now, with the delay, there's an X, Y axis here. This effects pad kind of works like a chaos pad, and you have multi-touch control over the effect. So the X axis is going to be kind of the, the feedback of the delay, and then the Y axis is going to be the dry and wet. So if I have my finger at the bottom, you don't hear anything. As I move my finger up, you hear more delay. If I move my finger to the left, the delay is a little less intense. Okay? So, I'm going to use the delay first to enhance a breakdown. Now with the delay or any other effect, I can also click on the lock button and that'll lock the effect on. So I can actually just gradually lift up the delay. And I can also use two fingers to control the effect. So I can actually go between one parameter and another by just putting my finger down. And then if I stop the track, you can hear it gets a nice fade out with the delay. And that can be great for doing a transition. So let's hear how to use the delay to make a quick transition. Now I'm going to get into some more transport functions, show you how to jump around your tracks, how to slice and dice and freeze your tracks, and how to remix your tracks live on the fly. Okay, so to jump around my track, I can do this in a couple ways. If I click on the bottom waveform window, I can actually scrub through my track and find a point where I want to go to. Now the other way I can scrub my track is by clicking on the top waveform. So if I click on the big waveform up here at the top, I can sort of scratch my track. Okay? Now if I want to zoom in on my waveform, I can use two fingers on the bottom waveform display. And if I pinch my fingers together, you can see that the waveform gets smaller and the beats get closer together. And if I pull my fingers apart, you can see that it zooms in on the track. So this can give you a more broader overview of the waveform. Now, I can jump around the track while the track is playing really easily and it's really creative how they did this. So I'm going to push play. Now, if I scroll with, with the bottom waveform window to a part of the track I want to jump to and then take my finger off, I can now click on any one of these beats to jump quickly and seamlessly to that beat. Now if sync is on, it will actually keep the timing of the track. So I'll scroll to the point where I want to go to. You're going to notice that when I click on the beat, it's going to actually keep the downbeats together and then jump to that beat of the song when it's supposed to. So it's never going to skip a beat. So you can see just alone with that feature alone that I can remix this track live. So a great live remixing tool right there. Now another way that I can creatively jump around my track is by using loops. So to engage a loop, I can actually click the loop button. So when I click the loop button, which is right here, it automatically, by default, sets a four-beat loop. We can change this in the preferences, more on that later. Now, the cool way to set loops in Tractor DJ is by using finger gestures. These are just like finger gestures that you would do on the iPad. Now, I can actually take my two fingers and I can put them on the start point and the end point of the loop, and Tractor's gonna set a loop based on where I put my fingers down. Check it out. So now I set a four beat loop. I can move this loop around by putting my two fingers down and actually sliding my two fingers across the waveform. You see how it's moving the loop. 
Now, if I want to make the loop smaller, I can actually use my two fingers and put them closer together, and it'll make the loop smaller. And when I want to get rid of the loop, I can take my two fingers and swipe them down. Another really amazing feature in Tractor, and this is actually exclusive to Tractor DJ, is called Freeze Mode. So if I click on this snowflake button, this will enable Freeze Mode. Now with Freeze Mode enabled, you notice how the waveform is stopped, but the track keeps playing. This will make it so I can actually click on the individual beats and play them like drums. So now again, I can actually zoom in on the waveform by pinching and sliding my fingers across. All right, here we go. Now let's drum this out. Okay, so now that's freeze mode and you can do that to do like a lot of creative stutters and stuff like that and sample your tracks live. But the way that I like to use freeze mode is actually by setting a loop and then going into what's called slice mode. So here's how to do that. Now I'm gonna go to the beginning of the track just so we can play around with the drums. Now first I'm gonna set a loop. Now when I'm in slice mode, I can actually hold on any of the beats and it'll actually repeat that beat. And I can also just click on the individual beats to play the track like drums. So I'll show you how that works. And you notice how as I'm doing it, it's actually keeping the timing of the loop. Now the next trick I'm gonna show you on how to remix your tracks live is using cue points. Now cue points are like a visual marker in your track so you can see when certain parts come in and they can also mark like a certain sample in your track so you can re-trigger that sample live. Okay, so you can see I already have a cue point on cue point one, this was set by Tractor Pro. Now I'm gonna find a couple more points of the track where I wanna set a cue point. I'm going to actually scroll over where I can see how this new part comes in. Okay, now I'm going to set a cue point here by first clicking on this flag icon. And this opens the cue point section. So you can see here I have eight hot cue slots. So I can set eight hot cues in my track. To set a hot cue, I can click on one of the blank hot cue slots. Here we go. You can see I just set a hot cue. If I want to re-trigger it, I can just click on the number three. And if sync is on, it'll keep the timing. Okay, I'll set another hot cue just by scrolling forward. Now if I want to delete a hot cue, I can actually push the delete button and then I can push the hot cue button that I want to delete. Now let's say I find a hot loop in my track and I want to remember it forever. For example, maybe even just the intro. So now that I have a loop set, I can click on a blank hot cue slot and it will actually save that loop to my track. And I can trigger that loop just like it was a cue point. Right? Except when I trigger it, it's gonna engage the loop button. Notice how the loop button's on. So that's how to move around your tracks, how to slice and dice and freeze and loop. This is Endo. For more info about me, check out djendo.com. For more videos and to check out our online DJ courses, check out dubspot.com. Later.
Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.